Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is Lastly here. Welcome to a new episode of the three-tier squad builder here on FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. So today, I decided that we would choose a nation. We've been doing leagues for a while now, and it is time, my my friends, that we take a little look at Brazil. Brazil, the one of the most fun nations to build a team around on FIFA. Period. It just is always the case. There's lots of skillers, uh, and just generally, it's always quite a good time. So if you do enjoy the video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Let's try and hit over a thousand likes on this video. Uh, and thank you for all the kind and positive comments on yesterday's video. I greatly appreciate that one as well. So, moving on in to the first tier then. This is for you guys that have, let's say, I don't know, like... 20k, 20 to 25k uh, at your disposal for FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. Now, with that being said, you're going to get yourself, you know, not the greatest of, of goalkeeper. We've got Alisson in goal today. He is an 80 rated, um, but a non-rare goalkeeper who's just really going to cost you five or 600 coins. He actually did all right, to be fair to the guy, but I definitely, he's not like my number one option in the team. So moving on to the defense then, we've actually got some players which uh, are typically just relatively quick, apart from our main centre-back, Felipe. Uh, Felipe, who is... How tall is he, actually? He's six foot one, but he's got 68 pace. It's the defending and physical that we've got him for, partnered alongside someone who I find to be a very good centre-back on this game, uh, Juan Jesus. He's actually a really solid player, uh, and I get on, with him, uh, get on with him very, very well because of that... Work rate situation. Low high work rates. And he's six foot one as well. The guy just does uh, work for me with the 79 pace also. Uh, but partner him up with someone a bit stronger. And you've got a force to be reckoned with. Right back today I've got Michelle Makedo. Uh, left back I've got Dalbert. Two players which are just pretty quick and stuff. Uh, but then moving on to the midfield. Three players who have got stats across the board that are really solid. Uh, and that they, they just they tend to work pretty well. Allen is one of my favourite like low budget uh, Brazilian players, also low-budget Serie A player because him for Napoli just does great work. Look at his stats, 77 pace, 81 physical, and across the board, they're great as well. Again, same for Fernandinho. He's actually going to cost you a few thousand coins, um, but I don't want these Tier 1 squads now at this stage in the game to be like a super, super cheap team. I don't want it to be like a 5K team because like, if you play like six games on squad battles, by the end of the week, you're going to have 12K and a couple of packs. So you can afford a team like this if you just play a little bit of FIFA. Um, and then I've got someone that I've not actually used before. <clears throat> Fred. Good pace, good dribbling. And then again, like... His, his overall defending stat compared to his shooting stat means that he's someone that could play anywhere in the center of midfield. Uh, and I was quite impressed with him. He did get a goal for me. And then up front, we've got Tyson. We've got Lucas. And we've got Roberto Firmino. Bobby is actually sick on this game. He just genuinely is a great player. Plays to that nice high 83 rating. Uh, good pace, especially if you move him back to like a cam in game. Like if this if this particular squad, uh, sometimes I changed it to, to this in game with the 4 one, two, one, two. I had Alan sitting back and Fernandinho in midfield with Fred. Uh, Tyson went up front on the left. And this, this is how I played with the team sometimes in game. And Firmino at Cam just does such great work. Uh, and then Lucas and Tyson both up front with loads and loads of pace and great dribbling. It is a, a decent trio of attackers in this team. So that's tier number one. Let's take a look at the goals. I actually got on really well with these players, uh, scoring quite a lot of goals in the couple games that we were able to play. And for some reason, I feel like when you when you have like a slightly lesser team, uh, your opponent definitely feels like he's got the upper hand, especially if, obviously if his team is better. Uh, like this particular uh, video or the, the particular clips you're seeing now is against a guy who had a full German team and... He had the likes of the Inform Hummels and just like Thomas Muller, Timo Werner. Some really, really strong and awesome players on the game. Uh, I ended up beating him and was just like... Felt pretty comfortable in-game itself, just passing the ball around with these players. When I did that formation change to the 4-1-2-1-2, it was crazy just how influential the pace of the two what new attackers, Lucas and Tyson, had. Uh, with just that, that key player in Firmino chilling in that cam spot. He was really, really good. And, well, you're just seeing the 
the amalgamation of everything that came together once we started playing quite well with this team. Uh, Lucas, you know, he's so quick. Same with Tyson. All they need to do is ab abuse their pace uh, and get in front of goal. Yeah, maybe they'll miss the first shot, but they'll get the rebound. There's a perfect example of that right there. Uh, I literally countered that guy from a corner and, and completely and utterly used Tyson to full effect with the 92 pace or whatever he's got on his card. Uh, just by, like, doing the extra long touch and then changing change in direction quite often your opponent's defense doesn't really know where you're gonna go uh, and then this is the sort of thing Firmino can do when he's running from a little bit deeper picking the ball up a little bit further out you know being in that cam spot once the formation has changed means that he can just go on a little run do the odd little I don't know either a skill move or just as simple as a ball roll like right there um, I just found him to be way more effective in, in, in that position uh, rather than when he was like an out and out striker just because obviously his pace isn't like blistering it's not too bad and it's great if you play him at cam but as a striker i'm not sure that pace is quite enough so uh, i would recommend playing Firmino anywhere from central attacking midfield you can play him as a, a cf in a false nine as well if you've got some nice quick wingers around him and obviously we had that today uh, in both tyson and and lucas mora now another option for the right winger could be felipe anderson he's got very similar stats to lucas but let's step the budget up now, shall we? Moving on to the second tier then. This right here is the sort of squad that you're going to you're going to find yourself playing with if you've got let's say 150k to work with. So I've boosted it up quite a lot um, because, well, I think it's that sort of stage. We're like two months into the game right now, uh, and I feel like there's a lot of people with a lot more coins than even with a squad like this. And with Brazil, there's quite a few players that are around that sort of 20 to 30k mark. I wanted to bring a few of them into our team today because when we move to tier number three, the price is going to absolutely rock it because I've got an icon in there who costs a bomb. Um, so this is tier number two. So the whole team is like rare gold, of course. Uh, you know, tier number one was nearly rare gold, and it could have been easily. Uh, but we've also brought in a couple of special players and a couple of high-rated players and also a couple of players that really fit the meta of the game uh, and are known to be like OP. So in this team, I've got Miranda and the Path to Glory Marquinhos. So obviously, he's not been boosted. However, uh, it's, you know, when you've got like 150k at your disposal, you might be the sort of person that wants to invest in a couple of players you know, these are glorified ones to watch items. So, uh, if, if Marquinhos gets an inform, which tends to happen every FIFA at some point during the time, uh, then then this particular item will get boosted. And if that's the case, yours will just go up and probably so will his price. So it's a good little investment to have. I'm not saying go out and buy Marquinhos because I have no idea whether he's performing well in real life or anything. Uh, but just to let you know, if you didn't already, that these Path to Glory cards are, of course, ones to watches with a different card design based around players that are like fringe players for the World Cup. Um, so I've got Rafa. Rafael in at right back, not the greatest of options in terms of right backs for Brazil this year. Uh, we'll get to another one in a little while. But yeah, happy to spend the money on my two centre backs. They were both very good. Uh, Felipe Luis, uh, you know, he's he's 20k, probably because of the 85 rating on him and the fact that he plays in La Liga gets sort of strong links to, to some half-decent players and stuff. Um, and then in midfield, they're not the most expensive players in the world, but they are hard-working beasts. We've got Paulinho and Fabinho. Both of these guys are up there in terms of midfielders I enjoy on FIFA 18. I just think they work so very well. Fabinho with the more defensive role, but he's got a really high penalty stat. And then uh, Paulinho just across the board is superb. Look at his stats down the left-hand side there. My God, they are just... Uh, they're just so well-rounded. Uh, they, they don't like... He's not amazing in one particular area, but he's great in a lot, which is superb. Uh, and then moving on to the cam, I bought myself the Path to Glory Giuliano. Uh, again, someone that could potentially get boosted along the way. If that's the case, the stats on this particular player will go absolutely sky high like they did in the previous FIFA, I'm sure. So... Moving on to our attack, it's actually a Premier League attack, but these three Brazilians are a lot of fun. Over on the right-hand side, Willian. Willian is awesome on FIFA. Uh, he's got great pace and great dribbling. He can distribute the ball well. He's got four-star skills, and he can score as well. Uh, on the left-hand side, we've got uh, Coutinho. Now, Coutinho, 86 rated. He's not the quickest of, of, of wingers, but... 
he doesn't, he's not slacking, you know. He's, he's got over 80 pace and 82 pace right there. Uh, and his passing and dribbling stats are outstanding. Four-star skills on him as well. Uh, and then, of course, Gabriel Jesus. The one player that everyone seems to love on FIFA 18. Uh, he is the one that just fits the meta of the game and is very, very overpowered. He definitely outplays an 81 rating. So he is my main striker in tier number two. This is the squad which costs over 150k on the game um, and is a significant jump from tier number one. Let's check out the goals. So there were definitely some standout players in this tier. Uh, definitely some that will make it into my best Brazilian side at the end of this video. Now, I reckon I scored the least goals in the couple games that we played with this particular tier. Uh, I had like the odd rage quit and stuff as well, and then a couple or well, a difficult opponent uh, that I struggled to score against. However, just in general, like the, the formation was probably the worst out of all of them, being the 4 3 3 4. It's it. You don't have a defensive midfielder, and I've said this time and time again. It's just, it just really helps. I think this was the guy that I eventually ended up losing to 4-3 uh, kind of late on in the game. Uh, but my players did, did, did score some nice goals. Like, Gabriel Jesus is a bit of a beast. And I genuinely feel like, value for money-wise, this is one of the best strikers you can get on FIFA 18. He just generally works, right? He just fits in, does, does the business, and, and is an absolute god on the game. Uh, he was unlucky to hit the bar right there. Lovely ball in, by the way. Uh, and then, of course, Paulinho is the one to just to tuck that one in. Uh, you could not miss. And if he did miss, I think I probably would have discarded him. Uh, even with the pressure of the defenders there, you just literally can't miss that one. Uh, Willian is just really quick. And as you can see, he plays that lovely ball over. Paulinho is the one to pick it up. And hits it on his weak foot, like... Um, being being someone with stats that are super well rounded and stuff, he, he doesn't have anything to, to really shout about. But overall, just... I don't know, I like him a lot. And then this was probably the nicest goal we scored. Thunder volley from Willian. What a beast. Uh, he's amazing. Let's move on to the upper echelon then. So for all of you that have just like unlimited supply of coins on FIFA 18, or for those of you that get elite in foot champs and you want some, just some really awesome expensive Brazilian players, this right here is about as good as it's going to get for a Brazil team on FIFA 18. I've moved it to the 4 one 2 2 second variant, my favourite formation on the game. Uh, we've got ourselves Edison in goal. You could get the ones to watch version if you wanted, and if he ever gets an inform, that's going to boost of course. Uh, in the Centre-back positions, both David Luiz and Thiago Silva. Uh, David Luiz is super, super aggressive. And he's quick as well. And he just does well on the ball. Like, he's a great centre-back to have because he's got 71 dribbling, which I find to be good for a centre-back. Now, Thiago Silva, again... His dribbling is great, his pace is great, his defending is great too. These two together are an aggressive centre-back duo which just tackle the ball really, really well. Now, right back, I've got Dani Alves. I think that's probably the best option for a Brazilian uh, right back anyway on this game. Uh, and then instead of Alexandro, who I think is great, but he seems to cost like 90k, which seems very, very, like... He's, that's very expensive for a left back. Uh, I've gone with Inform Marcel or Marcal. I'm not sure how you say his name. He's got 85 pace, 84 dribbling, 79 defending and physical. And I'm pretty sure he's well, he's five foot ten. He's not the tallest, but I actually think he, he performed very well for me uh, and was a third of the price of Alexandro. And I genuinely think he's a great option on this game for a fullback. So moving on in to the midfield, then we have got the inform version on Luis Gustavo, 83 rated. He's got great defending and physical stats. And then in the center of midfield, we've got ourselves uh, 85 rated Casemiro. He he's great this year. Uh, yeah, he may not have the pace and shooting stats but just as a rock solid central midfielder and I actually find his passing to be good as well uh, I love him he's actually one of the staple players that I try and get in my squads whenever I possibly can because he holds down that midfield so very very well now, luckily, because I've got these players from Fatal, I can actually afford to bring in a couple of the Inform Brazilians. Uh, we have got the likes of Inform Fernandinho coming into the centre of midfield. Uh, that's that's great. Uh, yeah, like 84 rated, 
not as high rated as, as the likes of Casemiro, but take a look at the stats. He's got four stats in the 80s, and a little bit like Paulinho, but slightly better, his stats are just incredibly well-rounded. Very well suited to FIFA 18. And then just take a look at this front three. Yeah, Neymar's on seven cam at left forward at striker. I don't care. He still performed outstandingly well. Uh, we have got Ronaldinho, 89 rated. That's what brings the price of this team incredibly high up. Um, if you were to put someone else random there, this whole team would probably be about like a million coins, I'm sure. Something like that. Maybe a little bit less even. Uh, but yeah, like to, to spend 1.8 or 1.9 million on this Brazilian icon is is, is fun because he's fun and I love using him. Now, in terms of like stats for me, he's nearly played 50 games. He's got 47 goals and 25 assists. That's just fantastic, isn't it? Like five-star skill moves, a whole heap of fun and generally just... Yeah, I love using him, and I, I would love the prime icon, Ronaldinho, at some point in time. That would that would literally complete me, I think. Uh, and then up front, we've got the informed version of Gabriel Jesus, and of course, Neymar. Five-star skills and weak foot on him. Um, and then Jesus, of course, is like a 300k version of his 81-rated card. I uh, can't say there's a huge amount of difference between the two, but let's just take a look at the goals that we scored with this one, and then I'll let you know what my best Brazilian team is. I love Ronaldinho. Uh, he is so much fun to use. If any of you have been watching Fatal, you know that sometimes I, I do some really good stuff with him. Sometimes he goes a little bit quiet. Well, the few games that we played with this particular rich tier... Uh, he he did everything. I I bloody loved him. Uh, he scored most of the goals for the team. We got one with the inform Gabriel Jesus, and then one with Neymar as well. Uh, but Ronaldinho was just pivotal. That was a lovely long shot right there. Uh, I can't believe I had him at number six. I, I can't believe I did not change him to number ten. I don't know what I was doing, but I do apologise for that. I only really notice it when I'm I'm editing and stuff later. I don't notice it when I'm in game. It's weird. Uh, but this particular game, I scored like three or four goals with Ronaldinho. Aldinho. The first one there, a lovely finesse shot. Just don't give him space on the edge of the box. That's not going to go well for you because either a, a finesse shot or a nice long power driver, that sort of thing, it's just going to go in the back of the net. Uh, right foot, left foot. I think that one was a left foot and it goes in. Like, Ronaldinho is just the man. I definitely need his prime in my life. Uh, I think that will, that will just be insanely good. I know it's a position change out to the left-hand side, but damn. Uh, Gabriel Jesus makes this goal and then Ronaldinho finishes it with the volley. Uh, although that doesn't look spectacular, the technique to do that is actually pretty cool. So it's not something that I would score all the time. Uh, and obviously, I, I could have probably kept running with Jesus, but it's not going to happen, is it? And then I scored this, uh, a rainbow flick, the defender. Uh, and then just like, wow, that is, that is top corner. I don't think you can get much more top corner than that. A lovely, lovely goal scored by Ronaldinho, created by Ronaldinho. Uh, and then this final goal coming up with Neymar just starts from the deep with Ronaldinho. And as you can see, that is a perfectly timed skill move to do that defender. I then scoop it over to Neymar. It takes a lovely first touch and then rifles it. And that's just a lovely goal. Uh, that was probably one of the nicer goals I've scored in recent times. Yeah, it just brings the fun out. Using the players like Neymar and Ronaldinho, you just have a lot of fun on this game. Let's talk about my best squad then. So this on screen right now is what I would consider the best Brazilian team that I could build based on those three teams that I've actually used today. So Edison was by far the better goalkeeper out of all of them. Of course, the rating would suggest that as well. I would definitely stick him in. Uh, at the centre-back positions, David Luiz with his aggression. Uh, and then alongside uh, Ga uh, Gabriel Jesus, Juan Jesus. Uh, yeah, what a beast. I really like him. He comes in from tier number one. And then at right back, like Danny Alves was all right, but Raphael actually impressed me. Uh, and then we have Dalbert, who, again, he's just rapid. Yeah, you could get Marcelo or Inform Marcal. Actually, is Inform Marcel better? I think he probably is, you know. Yeah, I'm going to go with Inform Marcel. Yeah, he makes it to the best team. He just pips... Um, Dalbert to the post. Just just a little bit there. I just think he's kind of solid and alongside Juan Jesus would do a good job. Now in the centre of midfield then, I've gone for 
Casemiro, because I said he's like a staple for me. He actually does really well. Uh, and then Paulinho. I actually think Paulinho performs better and is way better value for money than the informed Fernandinho. Uh, and this particular version is better than the regular Fernandinho. Well, and the inform, in my opinion. I just I just really like Paulinho on this game. He, he suits the game very well. And uh, he's nice and tall and stuff. Uh, and, and just has high, high work rates. Works really hard for the team. And then, of course, we've got Ronaldinho. Like, this is the cent focal point of fun for your ultimate team if you're using a Brazil squad and then up front William on the right I talked about him he was so good for me uh, on the left hand side of course you have to have Neymar five star skills and weak foot again he's like a staple for a, a fun Brazil side and then regular Gabriel Jesus I've got the inform this one is exactly the same in my opinion like he's just as good uh, I don't know why you would have the inform Jesus when this one it seems to be way better value for money and still provides you with exactly the same output in my opinion so that right there is my favorite and best brazil team that is the well that's four different squads in the three tier squad builder for you today if you have enjoyed do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and have a great day guys i'll catch you next time peace